Welcome to ADHD Go. There are lots of treatments that you can explore and that might work for you or not, but there are four fundamental treatment tools that no one can really ignore. They form the foundation of your treatment plan. The first is attitude. Attitude determines your outlook and really sets the limit of what you think is possible and your ability to enjoy your journey from moment to moment. An attitude is something that you can control. Don't fight me on this. You can decide to be hopeful and optimistic and positive, and it's going to affect everything else you do. So give it a try and see the difference that it makes. The next treatment tool is vision. This is your future self vision. The idea of the coolest possible manifestation of you five years from now, 10 years from now, that vision that you are excited to become the future that you are excited to live in. And it's important that you really spend a lot of time and effort coming up with details about your future self. Details like the clothes that you'll wear, the friends you'll hang out with, the work that you'll do, the house that you'll live in. These are all important to really have a vivid picture of in your mind because it's those details that's going to provide material for your subconscious mind to start to reverse engineer that future self vision into meaningful action today, which will get you there. The next essential tool is your treatment team. The people who give you feedback are honest with you and who you trust, who you're willing to listen to as you make these changes. These are people that you'll outsource your brain power to when you're struggling to remember things. You want to use their strengths to help overcome your weaknesses. We can't do it alone. Nobody can. And in fact, if we were alone, there would be no reason to. We, we work on our treatment, of course, for ourselves, but really it's about other people and our relationships with them that make life fulfilling and make treatment worthwhile. So gather a strong treatment team and be really intentional about the people and perspectives you allow to influence your life and your path going forward. The last essential treatment tool is therapy and coaching. I separate therapists and coaches from the rest of your treatment team here, mainly for emphasis. You don't need to pay someone to help you with your emotional work and your accountability, but the objectivity and expertise that they bring to the table is usually much more efficient and less taxing on your personal relationships. So I highly recommend finding an objective third party in the form of a therapist and a coach to help you along in your journey. Understand where you are now with each of these essential treatment tools, and then consider where you want to be in the future, how you want those things to change and adapt as you change and adapt to your condition. Don't be discouraged by what you don't have or the work required to get it. Don't be overwhelmed at the magnitude of the task ahead. Just start where you are. The simplest thing, the first step, half a step. Start here and now. You don't need anything and you're already perfect. So where are you going? We'll talk about that in the next video.